We are going to be making this today, a super simple electroformed object that will be the building block of a future project. Hello, Electro Jeweler Jordan here. Let's produce this copper electroformed leaf square. For more in-depth directions, watch these videos that will bring you through similar projects step by step. I'm also going to show you how to speed up the process so that you can be much more efficient when electroforming organics. It's go time. Take a dry leaf and cut it into a 4 inch square with a vein in the center. Take a 0.3 mm straightened wire and snake it through to the other side. This is going to deliver current to the top and to the bottom at the same time and will speed up the process considerably. Using a plier helps this process along. Bend at the bottom. Cover with conductive paint and let dry thoroughly. I prefer solvent based conductive paints for organics as they adhere better and dry quickly. And please like and subscribe. We're going to keep all the measurements super simple. A 4 inch square leaf, which is 8 square inches of surface area, 8 square inch copper pipe anode. The end current is going to be 1.1 amps on constant current mode, and the total time is 15 hours in the tank. We're going to use the current setting 0.1 amps per square inch as a guide, but you'll see at the end we're going to bump it up quite a bit. We're going to start out low at 0.1 amps total, and we're going to slowly bring that up to 0.8 amps over the next hour or so. It's been in the electroform tank for about 10 minutes now at 0.1 amps. Pro tip, having multiple conductive contact points will increase the speed and quality of the initial electroform plating, equaling a better outcome. We've been electroforming for about 30 minutes now at 0.3 amps, and I'm going to bump it up to 0.4 amps. It's been about 60 minutes in the copper electroform tank, and we have really good uh, electroform cover, about 90-95%. And I'm going to adjust the electroform current to 0.7 amps. We're at the two hour mark and things look pretty good, but not great. The electroform current setting right now is 0.8 amps, but you'll see there is a like a dull spot in the center here, which I discuss in my other video on electroforming a leaf. It's a simple problem. It's usually caused by low current. So I'm gonna adjust the amperage up to one amp. The leaf's been now electroforming for about six hours and everything looks really, really good. Nice and bright. The dull spot's gone. Uh, good detail, everything. So what I'm going to do is increase the current to 1.1 amps and then check it in the morning. The electroformed leaf has been in the tank now for about 15 hours and the current for the last 10 hours has been about 1.1. Everything looks really bright. It looks really nice. Uh, good texture, good brightness. Really, really happy with the way this came out. And yeah, we'll take this to the bench, but it's got really good detail. Nice and rigid, nice and bright. All our electroform products are made with electroform small tank recipe. Now time for a closer inspection. This is the electroformed leaf right out of the bath. Everything looks pretty good. All I did was rinse it, no brass brush or anything. Um, the Lustro Electro really worked well and I'm really happy with the results. I will see you in the next video and keep on plating and creating.